everybody. I just want to talk to you a little bit about loving yourself. I personally used to deal with this. I still um, sometimes deal with this. Um, it's not an easy thing to love yourself, honestly. Um, God really taught me how to love myself. Once I started, once I gave my life to God, I had no choice but to start loving myself because God is within me. And I, I love God. So if I love God, I have to love myself. And that's honestly how you have to look at it. God is in each and every one of us. He's in you. Um, um, just like we are made in his image, we should love our image and love the image that he has given us. So realize that God has made you flaws and all. Love your flaws. Love who you are. Love what God who God has made you. When I was younger, I didn't love myself and I ended up putting myself in situations that, you know, you could tell I didn't love myself. And if, if you don't love yourself, you, you end up lowering your standards. You end up accepting anything that comes to you. You end up um, just, you know, not treating your body right, not treating your mind right, not treating your spirit right. You end up neglecting yourself. And sometimes you might not even realize it, but you have to, um, there comes a time where you have to just, uh, say, you know, I have to love myself. I'm not going to keep feeding myself, um, things I shouldn't be feeding myself. I'm not going to keep being around people that don't respect me. I'm not going to keep giving myself the guys that, that truly don't even love me. I'm not going to keep doing this to myself because God has made me a wonderful and beautiful person. God has, has made me fearfully and wonderfully God has crafted me for a wonderful and powerful purpose for the body of Christ. Therefore, I should love myself. I am precious to him. Once I started to unleash who I really am and who God has created me to be, it helped me build confidence. It helped me, it helped lead me, led me uh, closer to my purpose. So, you know, love yourself and start treating yourself right start exercising start stopping around people that you don't need to be around start going to to church start reading the bible um stop wearing you know just skirts that are too short stop you know talking to guys that they don't even respect you love yourself if you have a talent that talent is going to lead you into your purpose so follow into what you're good at what god has has given you a gift that god has given you and love that gift and do it to the best of your ability because because the purpose and plan that God has for your life, you will not fail in it. And what God has for you will always be for you. So love yourself, love the gift that God has given you, and love the purpose that God has given you. Love your talent. I um, am a writer. I love writing. Um, I always... Uh, put myself down about it. I always used to say I'm not really that good. There are other people better. But what I have learned is you don't need to be 100% perfect at what you are good at right now. God, If God has given you the interest in it, given you the love for it, he will equip you with everything that you need to follow through with it, to fulfill your purpose. I might not be the best writer that I can be right now, but God is going to lead me and guide me to be what he wants me to be and that involves writing so he's going to make me the best in that field that he has given me because what's meant for me will always be for me you know not only that but you by whose standards are you not good like i think i'm not as good of a writer as what my professors as people around me as as what by whose standards you have to look at um, who God created you to be. Stop comparing yourself to other people. The grass is not always greener on the side, uh, on the other side. Stop worrying about other people's grass. Water your own grass. You know, God um, has given you something. God has blessed every single one of us with a portion. And it's up to you to fulfill that. It's up to you to cultivate that. It's up to you to start planting seeds within your grounds. It's up to you to do that. So... Forget what everyone else has to say about you. You love you for who God created you to be. 
love you i love me for my curly hair i love me for my little fat pudge i love me for the freckles on my face i love me um even though i might not know spanish and i'm puerto rican i, I still love me so um just be the best you that you can be forget what anyone else has to say because they have inner issues that they need to figure out with within themselves so um and and don't be too down on, on yourself for failure for making mistakes because he who is without sin can cast the first stone so don't let no one else judge you because that person the same person that's judging you has a big old plank in their eye they they have a big old issue that they're working with so work on you and just love you I cannot express this more I remember I was sitting down um, just by myself in my quiet time and God asked me he he said what would you say to your younger self and immediately I didn't even hesitate I, I would tell younger me to just love yourself